the tire of Ezekiel chapter 27 is a type of the end time tire, Tyrus. An end time Tyrus at the end of this age, it will have its fulfillment. In the New Testament, it comes under Babylon. It is Revelation chapter 18. Tyre of Ezekiel 27, we noticed in verse 36, it said that it would be no more, which shows that this is an end time prophecy, because indeed the, the Tyre, ancient Tyre, uh, is there today, and there is a modern Tyre. Revelation chapter 18, it is called Babylon. And it will have one fulfillment at the end time of this age and then be no more. If you read Ezekiel 27 and then immediately go to Revelation chapter 18 and read Revelation chapter 18, you will see how it is very similar in certain language. Very similar. Because indeed, the tire of Ezekiel 27 was a type of the end time tire that will be on this earth, but it was called Babylon in Revelation. It is going to be, I'll be quite open and frank with you, it is going to be a European power. It will be a European tire. It will be a European gathering of nations as Babylon in Revelation 18. And it will indeed have the merchandise and have all the prestige and all of the trading nations that the ancient Tyre had. Revelation chapter 18. After these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of demons, and the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, her spiritual and physical fornication, well, not physical in the sense of what that particular word means, fornication, but it is spiritual fornication that these nations will have been dealing with this modern Babylon. For all nations are drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, that you receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. He's rewarded even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works, in the cup which she has filled to her doubling, how much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her, for she says in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. This is how ancient Tyre portrayed itself, that it was so great that it was could withstand all of the enemies that would come against it. It was boastful and proud with all of her riches and all of the trading that she did with many, many nations that are mentioned there in Ezekiel 27. Revelation 18, verse 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. And the kings of the earth, who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, shall bewail her and lament her, when they shall see the smoke of her burning. 
standing afar off for the fear of her torment, and they will be saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is your judgment come, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buys her merchandise any more. And the merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple, silk and scarlet and all thynine wood and all manner vessels of ivory and all manner of vessels of most precious wood, of brass and of iron and marble and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and the beasts and the sheep and the horses and the chariots and the slaves and the souls of men. Slavery. This end time Babylon is going to be partaking in the slavery of people. Verse 14. And the fruits that your life lusted after are departed from you, and all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from you. And you have filled, and you will, you shall find them no more at all. Verse 15, the merchants of these things, which were made rich by her, shall stand afar off and the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing. Yes, when they see her destruction, these nations of the earth are going to weep and they're going to wail and saying, alas, alas, that great city, that great city Tyrus, that great city Babylon, that great city that was clothed with fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, for in one hour so great riches is come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the company in ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? What city is like unto this great Tyrus city? What city is like unto this great Babylon city? They will be saying. Verse 19, and they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, for that great city wherein were made rich and all that had ships in the sea by reason of, of her costliness. For in one hour she is made desolate. Rejoice over her, you heavens and you holy apostles and prophets, for God has avenged you on her and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea saying thus with violence shall that great city babylon that great city tyrus that great city babylon shall be thrown down and shall be found no more at all and the voice of the harpers and the musicians and pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more in you nor craftsmen, and all of those that craft shall be found no more in you. Coming down indeed to verse 24. And in her were found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. This is the modern, the end time Babylon. This is the seventh and last resurrection of the Holy Roman Empire in Europe. It will be a power in Europe that will do all of these things that we have just read in Revelation 18. And it will and has had power over the lives of men. Slavery, murders and killing of the saints of God, of the people of God through time, through the seven Holy Roman Empire resurrections, the seventh one right here in Revelation 18, the last resurrection of the Holy Roman Empire that has indeed been filled with the blood of the saints. There will be a last resurrection of that empire and it will be destroyed. God will avenge his people on 
modern Babylon, on modern Tyre, the modern power at the end that shall indeed fulfill the prophecies of Revelation 17 and 18. And then Jesus will come. Jesus will return, Revelation 19, and fight against the nations that will fight him on his return. He will have victory, and he will set up the kingdom of God on earth for a thousand years.